Now we will be doing the drain characteristics of enhancement type MOSFET. The drain characteristics of enhancement type MOSFET is given as the plot of output current output current that is the drain current ID versus the output voltage output voltage that is V DS for the various levels of or various values of for various values of VGS okay so this is the definition of output characteristics initially we know as the VDS value is increased uh, is 0 the ID value is 0 but as VDS is increased the ID value also increases when, when VGS is greater than the threshold voltage then case 1 there are three cases here case 1 when VGS is greater than the threshold voltage VDSAT is given as VGS minus VT the case 1 is given when the VGS is much greater than the threshold voltage. So what would be, uh, so what the width of the N channel would be de determined by V effective. V effective is given as VGS minus VT. So this voltage, this, this V effective would determine the width of the N channel. So on for this value of VGS, the ID would always remain constant. So, uh, what to do with this? Therefore, now on increasing the VDS value, the ID would increase or the, the drain current would increase in a linear way until VDSAT is reached. VDSAT is the saturation voltage for that particular value of VGS. When VDS is equal to VDSAT, then it enters into the saturation region. The, the plot is given as, as we see here, initially when the value of VDS is increased, the for a particular value of VGS, one suppose as the value of VGS is in VDS is increased. The uh, the current the drain current ID also increases in a proportional manner. But after a certain value of VDS, that is the VDS saturation VDS sat. The uh, the drain current remains constant. That is, it enters into the saturation region on further increasing the voltage it would still remain constant but when the value is further increased that is beyond the breaking point it increases rapidly in an exponential manner the drain current increases so as we know the width of the n channel depends upon BGS value so as we have plotted here for the various value of VGS1 VGS2 and VGS3 we see the same characteristics but we see that for VGS1 the ID the drain current saturation is the maximum therefore we can thus say that VGS1 is greater than VGS2 is greater than VGS so now we have to know what is the locus of VDS sat, the potential at which the drain current remains constant for a particular value of VGS is known as the VDS saturation. 
the locus of all these points for various values of VGS is known as the locus of VD set. Here we have to also remember that when VGS is less than VT, less than equal to VT, there is no significant current flowing through the circuit. So in the plot, if VGS is equal to VT, then current is zero. As VT is the threshold voltage, which is the minimum amount of voltage required for a significant amount of drain current to flow from drain to source terminals. This is the required drain characteristics for the MOSFET. And the second case happens when VGS is less than or equal to VT. So here as we see there are three main regions in the graph. These regions are the first one is the ohmic region. in which the ID is directly proportional to the VDS that is the change in VDS would directly affect the change in the drain current. The second in which although VDS changes the value of ID doesn't changes that is the saturation region. The third is after the VDS has re VDS has reached the breakdown voltage when the ID or the drain current increases dramatically. This is the breakdown region. And the fourth is below VT when although v VDS changes there is no change in the drain current that is the cutoff region. Thus, the four regions in the graph are ohmic region, saturation region, breakdown region and cutoff region.